10 Steps to Nether Portal Mastery. Step 1. Build a portal. The most basic nether portal requires 10 blocks of obsidian, 2 on the top and bottom, and 3 on each of the sides. You can use something less valuable for the corners of your portal, and your portal will work just fine. You can also build your portals up to 23 by 23, but that's, that's just, just flexing. flexing. The cool kids like to use a lava pool like this and a bucket of water to build their portals. And there you go. But if you're just starting out, pour some water on some lava, get yourself a diamond pickaxe, and start mining it up. Light it with a flint and steel, and you've got your first nether portal. Congratulations! Step 2. Once you make it, break it. The first time you walk through a nether portal, Minecraft will place a connected portal in the nether. Hey buddy. But it won't place that portal in the correct place. And by correct place, I mean if you try to place other portals in the overworld, they'll be all wonky and won't connect right. So before you head into the nether, take the X and Z coordinates of your portal in the overworld by pressing F3. Divide those numbers by 8, then move your nether side portal to the correct coordinates. This is called properly linking your portals. Do this. You'll thank me later. Step 3. Go really far. Every block you walk in the nether is 8 blocks in the overworld. That might not seem like much, but it means the distance from this portal to this portal in the nether is the distance from this portal to this portal in the overworld, but takes only a fraction of the time. There you go, you world traveler, you. Step four, safety first. Sure, the nether gets you farther faster, but ease of travel is a whole other thing. Oh, no. The nether is not a safe place to be walking around in. Sure, you could build yourself protected glass tubes all through the nether, or you could do what many Minecrafters do and build up here under the nether roof. Throw down some carpets and lighting, and you've no more fear of traveling in the nether. Step five, get really high. Yes, I know there are a lot of mushrooms in the nether, but I'm talking about getting high up on the nether roof. That didn't sound any better, did it? There are lots of ways to get up on the nether roof, but all of them involve finding bedrock at Y127 with a space below it. Place down a cobblestone slab and toss in an enderpearl. You'll think you're stuck, but a quick jump and you are safely on the nether roof. There are lots of cool farms you can build up here. I hope you brought some obsidian for a nether portal. Step six, get back home. Did I mention that once you're up here, you're stuck? You can run around till you starve to death, but that takes forever. You can blow a hole in the bedrock with TNT, but that's another video. Just bring obsidian with you, light it up, and head on home. Plan ahead by placing your overworld portal first and setting your nether roof portal to link up to it. Step seven. Populate your portals. The trick to adding new portals is to build them first in the overworld, but don't go through it. Take its coordinates, light it up, but then go through your already existing portal to place your new portal in the nether. If you placed it correctly, when you head on through, you'll be right back where you started and all linked up. Step eight, go vertical. Lots of people know the divide by eight rule, but what few people know about? are Y coordinate midpoints. Using these, you can use nether portals to travel up or down in your world. Imagine you have a mountain base or tall tower that you want to be able to get to the top and bottom of. Or say you have a base on the ground and a spaceship up in the sky. Let's be honest. No matter what your spaceship looks like, it would look odd if it had a water elevator going up to it. But you can use nether portals. Here's how you do it. These two portals share the same X and Z coordinates. That's very important for this to work. But the top portal is at Y120, and the bottom portal is at Y84. The exact midpoint between the two is Y102. Now head into the nether. Once in the nether, find Y102 and place your portals exactly the same distance from it. Now, when you go through the bottom portal, you'll come out at the bottom of the hill. And when you head through the top portal, you'll come out of the top portal 
in the overworld. You can also use these two portals to get to different locations. One could take you to the roof of the nether, and the other to your hub underneath the roof. Just remember to keep the portals the same distance from the Y midpoint coordinate. Step 9. Exploit the system. <laughs> now let's get crazy and use the fact that Minecraft is terrible at linking its own portals. Remember these two portals we built in Step 8? Of course you do. We just did that. Well, what do you think will happen if we place a portal above the Y point coordinate, but in between the two other portals? Let me show you. It doesn't create a new portal, but rather brings us out at the top portal. Why does that matter? Well, imagine the top portal was on the nether roof and you couldn't access it from inside your nether hub. You could get into the lower nether, maybe another fortress or a bastion, but then have the second portal as a quick way to go out into the overworld to the top of the mountain. But then when you go back in, it doesn't take you to the middle portal. That's down there. It takes you to your top portal, i.e. the nether roof. So play around with this idea and let me know other ways you find to exploit the system. Step 10. Never let the portal get you down. Let's face it, working with portals can be frustrating and the information out there can be confusing. If you're having trouble linking them up, go back and watch through this video. See if you missed a step. You can even ask me questions in the comments. If you're inspired to learn more, Check out the Minecraft wiki. See if you can find some new exploits. If you do, let me know about them. And if you're frustrated, set it aside for another day. Maybe it's just time to do some fishing. <laughs>